All right, so here we go with round one, and fear is not a factor for him. He feels so confident in all of his skills, he don't care what, John, what he got. John, what it doesn't got? John, it doesn't matter. It does not matter how well you see yourself as a grappler. This guy's a different level. Yeah. This guy's next level. You want to avoid this at all costs. Maintain distance. Do not go and grapple this guy. Ooh, big shot lands. He blocks the punch. Right on the button. Got the single collar tie. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh! Nice kick. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Back and forth we go. Under three minutes remain in round one. It's big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? All right, single collar tie now. Oh! Dude's hurt. Throw him up. Go get him. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, straight right. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. And he connects with a the punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Head kick lands. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. That one appeared to stun him. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. And they separate. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, all right, all right, calm down, calm down. You've been hit with bigger shots than that, all right? You're gonna shake this off, you're gonna come back, and you're gonna... All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Big ball from punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great timing to land that punch. Lands with the right hand. Oh, big Superman punch there. Real nice body kick lands. Oh! He's done, he's done! Oh, my! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. 
big knockout win for him here tonight. All right, let's re-rack the highlight now, DC, and he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, it was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands, but ultimately it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 37 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Assassin!